good start for a machine, apart from having cup holders. No, they're not cup holders, that's just for putting spotter bottles and that sort of thing. Occasionally, the pump may get an airlock in it, and this has just happened during transport from one job to another. So, what you can do is prime the pump using this little bit of hose. You simply connect that into the pressure line there, so that's got an outlet for there, and to get it to come out of there, we put it up against the vacuum there and we create a vacuum seal with our hand and that will pull water up into the pump. So I'll just demonstrate that. See if you can see the water coming into there. So now the pump is primed and we're ready to go. So sometimes when we're cleaning, if our detergent's a little bit alkaline, say for instance we're cleaning a, a uh, synthetic carpet, we might need to neutralize that detergent just to make sure that we're gonna leave it nice and clean and soft. So we're gonna use an acid rinse. Now this machine has a feature in here. We reach in down here and pull out this little hose here and this is the deter uh, like the acid rinse feed. Simply put it into our diluted acid rinse and the machine will suck the acid into the hot water tank and put that out through the carpet so you can actually neutralize that carpet. We'll talk more about chemicals and neutralization in other sections of the, uh, the Steam Master Academy. So we need to plug this into two separate power circuits. One plug goes into a, like a laundry plug and the other one will go into a kitchen plug. That way you know you're going to be on two separate circuits. Because it's so powerful, this machine will start tripping circuit breakers if you plug it into the same power point. But just make sure, one into the laundry, one into the kitchen, and we're ready to start cleaning. So how does this cleaning work? Well, here's the wand. This is the carpet cleaning wand. So high pressure water comes into here, down through the sprays. The sprays spray down into the carpet, pick up the dirt and detergent and pulls it back into that vacuum slot there. And the vacuum is run through this pipe back to the machine where it collects the dirty water. Of course it goes this way up. So water sprays down into the carpet, picks up the dirt and detergent and does a U-turn within the carpet and comes straight back out again. So clean water in, dirty water back out. We simply plug in the hose Always plug your vacuum hose onto a wand first. There's a lot of vacuum in there. That can take out an eye if you happen to sort of put it up to your face. So connect it to your wand first before you connect it to the machine. Now, when you put the wand down, don't put it down on the floor. This can put a little bit of strain on this knob here. So just turn it up that way and that won't damage that. This machine has an inline filter. So as the water comes back from there, it'll collect all the fluff and lint and all that sort of thing in that little bag there, which you simply unclip and you can empty that bag out. And the customer can see the dirty water coming through that filter. The pressure line plugs in there. Click, it's all locked in. The vacuum sits on there and we're ready to go. A couple of little things to watch here. There's that little vent on that side. There's another one on this side as well. They're there to keep the airflow into the motor itself to keep the motor cool. These motors are very powerful and if you've got a curtain blowing up against that and blocks that airflow, it can overheat the motor. So let's switch on. We're gonna switch on the waste pump and then the solution. And just switch them all off again and then we can clean and pack the equipment. 
So to pack it all down, we first disconnect the hoses. That one comes off. You'll see a bit of dirty water already collecting in there. Now that's a bit tight, so before you undo that one, if that feels tight, it's probably because there's still a bit of pressure in the line there. So you just need to clear that bit of pressure. And that'll easily come apart. Same on the one. That is all disconnected. Turn the water off at the tap. And then you can disconnect this. Disconnect your waste hose, put the little cap back on, and unplug your two power cords, and then of course dump your waste into your bucket. And that dirty water then goes back into like a laundry tub or a toilet you can put it in, or you can put it out onto a garden bed. Don't whatever you do, let that water go down into a storm water drain. So that's the American Sniper high pressure machine.